taking our oxygen and then leaving us here with nothing, Jeffrey. And I'm glad your wife left you. I'll say it right here on this Christian <laughs> what podcast. What is going on on Friday? Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, and this is here. This here is Mr. Piggle Wiggle, Frank himself, <laughs> the boy, the savage. He looks like a frat boy today, doesn't he? He looks dirty. What happened to him? <laughs> he does look really dirty, doesn't he? Uh, I think I he belongs know. to a Fight Club in the night. I, I think he, so too. He, he sneaks out. <laughs> It was Thursday, yeah, Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what it was? The Eagles were playing last night. The Eagles. He, he he got roughed up. He probably got into a little fight. Well, he was in a bad mood because they lost. Yeah, he probably got into a little a little bar fight with some mm-hmm. Buccaneers fans, mm-hmm. some Tom Brady fans. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, what's up? It's good to be here. Last night we got kind of not last night. Yesterday we got kind of uh, sidetracked. We didn't did we? the entire podcast. It was. Um, Lost our train of thought Thursday. Lost our train of thought Thursday. Usually Thursdays are meant to be train track on train on the track. Stay on track. The train is off the track. It was off. Um, talked about baldness. We talked about desserts. Yeah. Um, two things that go hand in hand. And um, <laughs> two things. One, I've lost my train of thought. That's for yesterday, not yeah. today. You know, one to be good to to combine baldness and um, desserts is is in a um, pie eating contest. Why? Well, because your hair wouldn't be in the way, and then like in the end, you could just like dunk your head in a, like, a barrel of water or something to clean off. Oh, because how messy! Yeah, I I feel like I could be in a pie eating contest and be pretty confident there will be no pie in my hair. <laughs> Um, I also don't like pie. So a pie eating contest is what I imagine like purgatory is like. It wouldn't be hell. How about shepherd's pie? Ooh, I, I, if I was in a shepherd's pie It would contest, be in my hair. <laughs> it would be in my hair. And that is for sure. Ah, oh, man. I haven't had good shepherd's pie in a while. I love shepherd's pie. I should pie. make it. You should. I've never made shepherd's maybe, maybe pie. Maybe people don't know what shepherd's pie is. Maybe you Let me t- explain to you. <laughs> Let's stay on the train of thought. But I will explain I know. To you. I'll explain to you shepherd's pie real quick. Shepherd's pie is a delicious um i'm gonna say savory savory dish from probably in the united kingdom yeah i, I imagine i think it was first made with um goat uh, probably lamb lamb that's what i meant i don't know why i said goat you were in the middle like, east all of a sudden i'm thinking of like curry goat mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> lamb it may have originally lamb but now you'll see it mostly with like ground beef you can do ground turkey whatever so it is like a layered thing like a lasagna but the bottom layer is um like a uh, ground meat uh in a sort of gravy mm-hmm Mm. Mm. <laughs> and then you have uh, like corn. Sometimes you will throw yeah. ca- little carrots in there, but then it's topped with mashed potatoes. Right. And so. And che- then cheese. Um. Sometimes I think. Sometimes. Sometimes. Just to hold it together, maybe on top. Yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking like the top usually is like a yeah, little, little brown, crisp- yeah, little, little crispy brown. Yeah. So you'll like cut out a piece, and you'll just put it on your plate and just. Mm. You know why I think I love it? Because even when like. I I don't know if this is uncouth. It's probably uncouth in the in um some Orthodox Jewish tradition where you're not supposed to mix your foods. Yeah. But anytime I get like a hearty dinner like that, especially you'll say at Thanksgiving with like uh mashed potatoes especially because the best to do with and corn peas whatever. First, I mix it all together so every bite is just everything. Right. And that's what shepherd's pie is. It is. So it's the only kind of pie I like except for pizza pie. I don't like. Pizza sweet pie. sweet pies sweetie pie <laughs> um i'm drinking a celsius drink oh are we sponsored yet yes we're sponsored by celsius live fit oh n- i should have known a white box wouldn't have shown up oh man i'll put up a, a picture right here there's a white box that'll show usually, up usually not usually but occasionally frequently you'll see me drinking red bull this is um a celsius sparkling um this is watermelon mm. and drank um, the last one i'm a little tired today would have been nice if we could have both been enjoying a Celsius. You didn't ask. Oh, I'm going to make a competitive brand called Fahrenheit. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Only sold in America. <laughs> yeah. Um, today is Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York's birthday. And why is this relevant to our lives? Um, she's the original Fergie. Oh. 
and um not stacy ann from the black eyed peas black eyed peas yeah yeah um she's she was sarah ferguson before she got married to prince andrew in we're talking about the royals in in england which i yeah. talk about a lot um and i just wanted to tell you it's her birthday no well, also happy birthday to her on twitter she's sarah the duchess and um Mm. Right now, she's doing a campaign. <laughs> What's the matter? I was just like, what a cool handle. I wish I like, know. Spencer the Duke was just my Instagram handle. But I'm surprised that she was allowed to keep the Duchess of York because um, she divorced Andrew. Andrew's mm. the one that's in trouble with the whole... Um, yeah. yeah what's Epstein. that guy's name? Epstein's yeah. situation. But she she divorced him years and years before that. But, um, you know, Princess Diana was forced to drop her princess after... She got divorced, but Sarah was allowed to keep well, her. I feel like the the whole like princess things a lot. I feel like the duchies and dukes isn't uh, this guy still, or isn't like uh, my good Markle still like the Duchess? Yeah, of you're right. Cambridge Sussex. or whatever. Sussex. Yeah, it's like they just they give this out for free. It feels like. What's even the point? No, I always do, you know they make them up. Oh like, really? Yeah, it's not like it's available now. Like when when Harry married, then then the Queen had to be like, all right, what can we call you guys? So yeah. She made it up, and like, haven't they run out of places in England? And like, do they have like, is does did no? If, if they go to Sussex, they don't they get don't to like, like, like tell people like, get out of your car, I'm gonna drive they it. Have no, <laughs> but like, it, it, do they do like, okay, I will do charity in Sussex, or really is Sussex just? I think it's just like one of their one of their uh, principalities Pro- or whatever. Yeah. 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 Um, she she's on Twitter and she is doing a campaign right now because. They're going to destroy 67 oak trees to, in England, wherever she had grown up. Um, she's an author. She wrote a lot of children's books. She wrote a book called The Enchanted Oak Tree. So that's why it's near and dear to her heart, because it's these trees that yeah. inspired her. We're <clears throat> going to take it down for an Amazon warehouse. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazon Jeff Bezos. So We don't like Jeff Bezos. If you want to sign her um, petition, it's on one of those, I don't know, change.org or something. Yeah, but- we'll, we'll have it down in the description. You know what? We but we have an oak tree. We do. We have an oak tree, and we also don't like Jeff Bezos. A mighty oak. We we, we love him as a human being, but we don't like his charitable donation numbers. No. How about that? Cares more about space than he does the oak trees. Than the earth. That Guess we're what? Standing on. Guess what? Yeah. How 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 dare you, Jeffrey? May I call you that? <laughs> this is what I'm gonna say. How dare you? Not only. <clears throat> not only. Do you have your head in the clouds? Sorry, dare I say, your head in, in outer space. Mm. But you are quite literally, and I mean literally, killing the planet while trying to leave it. And oh, yeah. That's a good line. Yeah. You're trying to kill the, kill planet, the planet while, while, trying, to while trying to leave while it. While trying to leave it. While attempting to leave it. Yeah. Because you know what oak trees do with their big old leaves? Oxygen. Oxygen. Take our ox- taking our oxygen and then leaving us here with nothing, Jeffrey. And I'm glad your wife left you. I'll say it right here on this Christian <laughs> what podcast. What is going on on Friday? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I I pray <laughs> that you find your way, and I play. I, I play. I pray that you plant 42 oak trees. But that's the thing when people say, "Oh, we're, 67. Chopping, we're chopping down oak trees, but we'll plant 100 more." Thanks. 50 years from now, I'll give you a big old high five. These things take a long time to grow out here. Yeah, uh, an oak tree can live up to 500 years. Awesome. And you know, oak trees they have a mirror ring root system. Oak trees are magical. Well, yeah, they've I mean, been the dustics of Sussex said it already. <laughs> yeah, uh, they yeah, enchanted. Um, ancient civilizations would carry the oak, the acorn, sorry, um, as a talisman. Yeah. So speaking of trees, I I usually track the foliage, the changing of the leaves. Yeah. There's different apps. Um, one that you'll put up is a uh, paweatheraction.com. Paweatheraction.com. Because we live in PA, but um, I was in Florida. And I was watching like, oh, like, because I, I want to see. It's coming the, down. Yeah, I want to see the changing New of the leaves. New Hampshire. Starts, Boston. Starts up north, right? Yeah. And comes down. Um, so here, we are very late for it to be changing. Um, so if you look at this week, October 15th. No, the week that just finished, I guess. Whatever. Where yeah. we are right now of 2020, you'll see like the whole map is like already orange. Really? Yeah. And right now, we're still green. Because it's so warm. 80 degrees today. Global warming. So and you warm. know what? I saw this thing um, and I'm bad. At, I don't care. I'm going to get controversial on this Christian mm-hmm. podcast. Um, the controversial Christian. That could be your. The controversial Christian. That sounds like 
I, I, don't, I don't know. That sounds like my controversies are on Christian Christianity. I say controversial things on a Christian podcast rather than I say controversial things about Christianity. Okay. <laughs> so therefore, I will the be Christian the Christian who's sometimes controversial about things and not the always Christian about who's, <laughs> who's <laughs> controversial. No, that sounds like I, I'm in the news a lot. <laughs> okay, whatever. I saw that I'm going to talk about global warming. And you know what? If you don't believe in it, then you can. Um, then I pray for your ears to be opened. Um, <clears throat> I saw this thing. Uh, so COVID, you know, had everyone shut down for uh, a year, year mm-hmm. and a half. Mm-hmm. And it was saying that it uh, it didn't really. So if this was a non, non-global warming thinking person saying this. And they were like, it didn't even do a dent into changing what yeah. is this rapid change in climate. So it was like, it wasn't our fault. And then someone was saying, yes, thank you. It was never us using our hairspray. Or, or, obviously, that right. can help. It's these ultra huge corporations that aren't being cracked down on right. because the government is just fighting each other on whether we even care about this. And the same, same thing with them, you know, like, oh, the straws for the turtles. If you, I, I watched a documentary on it, like how 90 seven percent of uh waste in the ocean or debris and plastic is from fishing equipment right like industrial fishing the, the full story right and so back this is all full circle to jeffrey bezos the reason my my leaves aren't orange outside is because of jeffrey yeah and you know what he doesn't care because no. he's leaving and he could just paint his own leaves he could you know what he could you know they did that in dirty dancing uh did they in dirty dancing they filmed in the catskills i think which is a new york um like our poconos yeah and um it was a summer movie and they were filming on location and they weren't they had to do re- reshot reshoots or whatever yeah and they were going into fall and they needed it to still look like it was july mm. so they they literally painted the the foliage the foliage green <laughs> ain't that something for some shots movie magic for some shots um we did not do walk through thursday yesterday oh no. okay guys we got off track, but you know what? We had fun, but that doesn't mean that the Bible verses that we read can go unread, right? We we'll, need, yeah, for the week, you we'll, know? We'll always get our week done. So in a way, yesterday was Thursday, Friday. Wait, yesterday was fun <laughs> Thursday, and today is walk through Friday. Yeah. All right? Which can still be fun. Which but. can still be fun. <laughs> fun. Um, so with that being said, it is walk through Friday, and we are going to roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys, it is walk through Friday on a Friday. And what that is, is the exact same thing as a walk through Thursday. Oh. So what a walk through Thursday is, I'll explain to you. We open up the Bible. Bible's open. And we pick a verse, any verse, come one, come all. And we slow it down for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want to just run through Bible verses. We don't want to say, I know a Bible. I know more Bible verses than you. I can outquote you. No, we just want to take one. We want to share it together and break it down word for word, you know, line for line, sentence by sentence. Uh, uh, however, we need to take it. Yeah. And we want to find a deeper meaning. Right. That's what it comes down to is we want to find a deeper meaning. Yes. And so we're going to do that exact thing today. Okay. So what we're reading from today, which is news to me, is Jeremiah, my favorite book of the Bible. Is it? Yeah, why not? Well, my favorite book of... one. It's one of my favorite books. Oh, so the purple writing is um, not the Bible verse. I just put that in for um, a footnote. Okay. So, okay. Um, well, yeah. So the book of Jeremiah, you're wondering, Spencer, what's, a, what's the book of Jeremiah? Is it Old Testament? Is it New Testament? Who's Jeremiah? Right. So... The book of Jeremiah is the second of the latter prophets in the Hebrew Bible and the second of the prophets in the Christian Old Testament, the weeping prophet. Okay. <laughs> I just got my... I have a cut and I just scraped it. Oh, some would call that a... Stigmata. Stigmata. <laughs> or some other people would say you fell in a cemetery. And then some <laughs> other other people would say you got pushed. I got pushed. By a ghost. <laughs> I'm not saying like by a real person. No. <laughs> by a ghost. I did. All right, so... Uh, Three times, some other time. We're reading what, what the Bible verse today, guys, is Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. Okay. So I hope I got it right this time. Last week, yeah, I you know got what? the numbers wrong. You know what? Let's hope. Let us okay. pray. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll read it to you, and then we'll walk through it. 
But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thanks, Jeremiah. You know what? All I'm thinking about is that is that confident tree planted by the stream that's not worried about anything. Right. Little do they know Jeffrey Bezos is in town. <laughs> so how about that? Right. No, I'm glad you said He's that. A, in, in this, I'll get to it. I'll even though you were making a joke, yeah. even though you're making a joke, well, not, I mean, it. It is true that he's doing that. I'm coming but for you. What I'm saying is that's what happens when you take the Bible too literally. Not This is nothing against you at all. I'm glad you said this because it lets me say this. When we take the Bible too literally and we literally say. Then you have someone push up their glasses and say, well, what happens oh, if someone pulls the tree Right. Up? And like we're talking about a tree and we're talking about a stream and mm. there's there's um, drought and there's they don't make it. And there's the spotted lanternfly that kills them. And that's why. We walk through it. We walk through it. And get out of it more than a tree that has a limited lifetime, even if it is 500 years. Yes. It's still limited. So we're looking beyond that. We're looking beyond the beyond. All right. Um, beforehand, any reason you picked this? Where Did you look for trees? Was that your idea or did you just find it and then talk about the Duchess of Sussex? Duchess of Sussex. That's not even who it was. That's the. Uh, that's oh my gosh, that's Meghan Markle. Um, no, it was Sarah Ferguson, and she's the um, York Duch- yeah. Duchess of York. Um, it the Holy Spirit made me pick it, and but it all came together because it is it is a season of trees. It is, um, it is. They're trying to save the oaks, and the yeah. foliage is changing, and mm-hmm. and so this is using symbolism um, about a tree and saying that it is like. A person who trusts in the Lord. Yes. All right. We're going to do this one line at a time, folks. You know how it goes. You know how we roll. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Okay. I love confidence. Uh, hey, confidence is the most attractive quality in, in a man. <laughs> <laughs> I love the word confidence here. Um, blessed is the one that... The, so that's great. And we always, we are blessed. Obviously we're children of God Mm -hmm. and we trust in the, trust in the Lord with all your heart as a very popular Bible verse, but whose confidence is in him. So yeah, I'm trusting, I'm trusting you're going to do this, Yeah. but to have, I have confidence that you're going to do this. I just really like the word confidence there. Um, if you trust in the Lord, you can have confidence in him. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not like a trust, like a wavering faith, like right. Uh, I hope, I hope, like uh, right, like because it's I'm, so much stronger than hope. Not I think. to not to skip, you know, but I'm gonna just skip just to talk about confidence. Um, with this this tree analogy of mm-hmm. you can have trust in the fact that it's gonna rain, and they're just like, oh no, like I trust it's gonna rain, I trust it's gonna rain, right? But it's the tree with the roots that are near the water, right? That that was never going away. That's confidence. It's complete confidence. I, I don't need to even be like, well, I do trust, but but there's no buts. There's and no with buts. confidence. There's no buts. So I love that. Okay, they will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. Okay, so a tree planted by the water is not depending on the little old lady, little Miss Piggle Wiggle, come well, down with her, with her watering can. Like, yeah. I hope she comes today. It's a pretty hot day. I'm planted by the stream, so my roots can just go and drink, you know, pull from yeah. the um the the water. Now, I uh, just to talk about jumping down. I'm going to jump down to a place that's not even what we're talking about. Oh, but it's um so in Jeremiah 17, we're doing seven and eight. But we are. If, if you jump down to th- to 13, okay, we're jumping. It, it says um the spring of living water. So. Oh, like it's not even that far away from where we're talking. And so we don't even have to we don't even have to like look that far to know that we're not talking about hydrogen and oxygen. We're talking no. about God as the, we're talking about font, God. the font of living water. Yeah, we're talking about God in your life. We're talking about love. We're talking about spiritual healing. And, you know, um, not to not to uh, to jump around here, but. There we have this like faith, you know that um that once again we are we're not uh, picked as these group of people are picked as gods and these people are not right. 
So we believe all of us are trees that are planted by the water and and it's it's the people that tap into that right like you know like uh literally and like a like a like a water tap right that it's, it's like your roots are always there like ha- don't have that you don't need that fear of waiting for rain or waiting no. for old man mulligan it's like your roots are right by the water all you gotta do is just suck it on in right and absorb it it's perfect absorb the lord because the next line is it does not fear when heat comes. It does not fear when heat so comes. So you just said fear and I did. It does not fear when heat comes. Sure, heat can be that it's eighty degrees outside. Heat can be that it's um, you know, very sunny and yeah. the water's evaporating, but in life, heat in life. is when the heat's turned up, it's when you're going through stressful times, it's when you're being challenged. Yeah. And also, yeah, so there's another interesting thing about this, guys. And I'm oh, I'm just getting all of the I'm I'm, I'm fe- being filled by the Holy Spirit. Hold me back now. Uh-huh. This is a great analogy, and I'm gonna tell you why. Think about this tree, right? This tree. This tree is not getting watered on the outside. No. If you look at this tree, you're looking around saying it's a drought. It's hot. If you are the tree, you're like right. everything that I can perceive in my bark. And in, in, from the top, Branches. there's been no, there's been no uh, rain. Like things are going bad. It's on the inside, the roots that are that are by the water. And the same thing with people. Like on the outside, when things can look so bad, right? And it, there is that heat in your life, whether that be you're depressed or there's external things that are actually happening. Mm-hmm. You you may never you may not like and it's like oh like how is God in this situation how is God here it's, it's not there there, there isn't right. there isn't rain if if we're using water as an analogy here it's it's not on the it's not on the external no. like like well well sometimes of course you'll you'll go through your life and you'll say wow you will have an interaction you'll just feel happy you will look up in the sky and smile and that is the water in rain form is being watered someone else can spread their love to you. But there's going to be times when everything around you is a burning hot drought. And you are saying, there is no love. There is no God. Because you're not tapping to the water that you are right next to. Right. But not on the surface. Right. It's by the roots. And the roots are where you suck it on in. That's the closest point. Right. Even when the rain. You think you think when, when, when uh, a, a good thing happens to you in life, it's like, well, that happened to me. Yeah. Like, how, well, what am I supposed to do myself? You are. You don't even realize that that's happened from the outside. It still has to go on the inside. Yes. And then come back out. How about that photosynthesis? No, it's true. Even um, when you think of a tree, you know, the tree's body is the trunk. Yeah. Right. But the, but the canopy of the tree, the umbrella part of the tree, is out here. So when the rain falls, it is falling off the umbrella. So yeah. it's what's called a drip line. So it actually waters the tree, even uh, naturally. It's watering yeah. it outside. Yeah. That's why you, you actually should never water a tree by its trunk because you can like rot it. Mm. But the point being that even with the rain falling on top of the tree, it still ha- it still has to go down and then up within. Yeah. And, and as do we. As do we. And uh, okay, so let's keep going. It its leaves are always green. That's just, I've, you know. Well, I like that because... Okay. It's again, like you can't use it for a tree tree, right? Because yeah. my oak tree, the leaves aren't always green. No, they're, sometimes they're, turning, they're orange. They're turning, sometimes they fall off. Turning, they're turning right now. But um, I believe leaves are always green is that new new growth, the new, yeah. the newest, the yeah. always replaced. Yeah. Um, It has no worries in a year of drought and it never, it never fails to bear fruit. We're always, we can always be productive. We can always be productive. Yeah, well, and and I, I like you know what I like this verse a lot. I'm glad you chose it. Thank you. Um, just yeah. So just to go back to my previous idea of where, where we're at, the le- or no has no fear when he comes, and the leaves are always green. Why I like this so much is because we are in a time of orange leaves, and leaves will be falling off soon. So yes. let's change this a little bit. Where this is saying the tree of of always leaves. Now let's just talk about where the tree, right? And we are going into winter now. We're going into fall, which is going to go into winter. That tree out there, which a month ago was full of life, r- life, right? It, it looked, oh, it's green and, and, and beautiful and thriving. It's going to be without leaves and it's going to look like a bear tree. Yes. And we get that too. 
and, and, and I'm not. I, we we can talk about it a lot. People go through seasonal depression. We can talk about a literal change in winter, but we can just talk about different phases of life when you are in that barren state. But just like this tree, just like you, just like that tree outside, especially an oak tree. Glad you brought that up. It has a mirroring root system, mm. and so even though it looks like it's barren on the on the top, on the bottom is a full system that it hasn't is, changed. That is fully alive and right. fully with everything. This tree, like so, no matter what you're going through, you if you are able, if you tap in, like you'll know that no matter how bad it looks, how bad it feels on the outside, you are fully alive and fully yes. have the potential to be the best tree that you can be, and. If you were in a winter and you were like, you you subscribe to this thought, okay, I know I'm alive. I know right now we're in a winter, a mental winter, a spiritual winter, whatever. What's going to happen in eight months? Even on the outside, things it's are right. going to get better. So it's not saying, it's not saying uh, it's always going to be a drought. It's mm-hmm. saying in droughts, you know yes. you're getting water and it will also not always be, be a drought. Be confident in your drought. Be, be confident in your drought and then know the drought will end. And you'll get water, you'll, and at that point, you're, you're gravy. Right. You're getting water from the roots. You're getting water from the sky. You're getting water from old man full, Mulligan. Full, confidence. And and just like someone would say, what we started in the beginning saying, and we said, oh, well, trees die and fall and, and die of disease and insects. Well, so do people. So when we say that, don't worry, you'll live through the winter and you will be green again. You will have the spring again. You Your body may not. Yeah. Okay. So you can't use that as an argument. You can't say, well, people die. This person died or that person. They didn't make it through the disease. They made it through. Mm -hmm. And that's because none of it really was that, you know, physical stream that runs through your state. It was the the living um, water. The spirit, the spring of the living water. Spring of the living water, which when the devil tempted Jesus in the desert, he said, um, make the rock bread. Why are you starving? Yeah. Jesus referred back to Deuteronomy, which Moses. says, man cannot live by bread alone. Oh, I thought it was when he struck the rock. <laughs> man cannot live by bread alone, um, the actual thing, um, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Mm. So when you say man cannot live by bread alone, um, and of course you can live without food for months, but you can only live without water for three days. Yeah. That's the physical connection, uh, physical correlation, right? Physical, yeah. But... In reality, what Jesus was saying and what this is saying is not the water that comes out of the spigot or the mm-hmm. waterfall. It's the word of God. The word of God. And you can um, live. You can't live without it, but you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that's um that's something. I like I like this verse. Have we had a trees podcast? I don't know. I think we should. I mean, I, we we pretty much summed it up here, but. Just reading this verse alone, it really, uh, it, you, it see, you know, like how I, I had that working out thing where I see so many correlations. Yeah. I feel like you can use a tree. Yeah, definitely. As, as um, you know, you see in, in this verse here, but as a comparison to yes. life. Because a tree, you know, goes through stages. It's right. Um, big and beautiful, just like all of us. Thank you, God, for giving us that visual aid. Yes, and thank um, you for Jeff Be- Bezos for trying to get rid of all our visual it. aids. And you might think, well, jeesh, how much... Jeesh? O- ha- jeesh. So jeez and sheesh? You never heard of jeesh? I think, I, I think you're using jeez. Jeez. Sheesh. Jeesh. Sheesh. Jeez. Yeah, maybe. Sheesh kebab. Um, shish kebab. You might think, oh... <laughs> sheesh kebabs? Shish kebab? Shish kebab. Uh. Um... You might think, well, how much water could an oak tree drink anyway? They can You'd drink. Be they can drink from fifty to two hundred gallons a day. Where do they get it all? Like you said about those underground roots. Uh, just... You know what they get it from the spring of living water. That's true. Exactly, and that's another thing. You know, us humans, we need that much spiritualness too. You're right. Right, and uh, once again, back to the externals, and a lot of I, th- I think we say that sometimes of like. When you get into spirituality, if you're new to spirituality, it might feel like, um, oh, like, uh, how can I do enough? Like, hey, how can I be the most spiritual person? A lot of it is, do, like, it, uh, you it, you can be a passive spiritual person, if that makes sense. Yeah. Just like that oak tree hasn't rained. When when it does get external stuff, that's great. We love to see it. But they're, they're just the idea of tapping into spirituality. Right. Having a relationship. Right. E- even like a, a passive relationship with God. 
is those roots tapping into that water, drinking the, the, the gallons a day. And that's right. the most important thing. Then after that, you can get the external rain right. and you can get old men mulligan to water you. But the tapping in is the important part. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap in. Isn't that a song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I love it. The um, I got so into your story, I forgot what I was going to say. But <laughs> Well, <laughs> my story's over. Okay. So on a Friday blessed you with a little bit of a jeremiah walk, little little jeremiah jeremiah 17 7 to 8 check it out and go outside and check a tree check on it you doing all right <laughs> probably actually check if it's still there jeffrey bezos is in town sign the petition from sarah ferguson <laughs> sign the petition if you learned anything from today sign the petition <laughs> peace love and prosperity enjoy your night but don't have too much fun because we are going to be back on wednesday so I guess have a lot of fun tonight. Yeah. You'll, have, you'll, you'll have be held accountable. You'll have time to rest up. <laughs> Peace.